morning welcome back to another video started off with a bit of heavy traffic probably an accident looking at this oh yeah there appears to be a van in the ditch on its side oh there's a car wow I mean it was really really bad rain earlier Maybe a bit of excess speed, I don't know. Can't see any of the cars there, but uh, hopefully they're okay. Well, that's about 40 minutes on my journey. So, um, I came into the work, into the work, into the yard this morning, and uh, there was no work planned for me. I think somebody forgot. Anyway, uh, another department, I said, right, well, one of our drivers haven't turned up. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're nicking you for the day. So, the plan today is pick up from Wrexham Depot. After 1.2 miles, take the exit door of that bridge. And then take to Wigan, go back to the Wrexham Depot, collect another one, and take to Stockport. And that's all I've got planned so far. Can you go any slower? Oh god, I'm tired. Monday morning, can't be bothered. A little bit tired. Arthritis is playing up. What can I say? Bit of a crap day. So far anyway. It'll be a red one. Not that one, that's not Maxi. It's that one there. close up to that other unit oh great it's in a puddle where's the shunt button because I ain't standing in that winding the legs up I'm just going to drag it out So this trailer, I had to drag it out because it was a, the water was about a foot and a half deep and these trailers, the brakes, were on the back of the trailer just to make it awkward. Uh, so I've just put in the destination, it says there's no suitable route based on my vehicle specifications so I'm going to have to keep an eye out for bridge heights and weight restrictions because it's for some reason it says there's no route, looks pretty, I mean there is one bridge getting close to the, the, the destination so I don't know I'm just gonna have to uh, have a look I need to go back to my depot anyway because the last driver didn't he's lost the registration plate for the trailer so I've got no reg on at the moment so I need to uh, get back to the yard and get a new reg I've got nothing to make one with so it is what it is well, the last driver who was in it, I think he was an agency guy, I think that's what he said, because he left a giant sleeping bag on there. It looked like a tent, it was that big actually. But, uh, anyway, yeah, I can only do what I can do. Right, I've been stressing out trying to find this place, finally found it. Reverse off here now, it's very narrow. Am I on it? I'm not sure if I'm on it fully. No, I'm not. Right, so basically, it's waste paper I've got for this place. Absolute nightmare to find. The address given was wrong. Anyway, yeah. I think I'm going to end the video in for today and start again tomorrow when I'm in a better mood. Yeah. Try again. A bit stressed. 
straighter this time. Well, still on the wall. Get off the wall. What a good place to park your BMW. Stop gapping, get moving. Not even a wave, nothing. back to Wrexham, drop this trailer off, pick up another trailer and then take that to Stockport. Right, Ugh, back at this place again. I've had a little break on the way and it is, what time are we on now? Two o'clock. So, I was about right on the estimate. Six, six, six. All right. Well, is that one over there in front? I think it is. There's no way really to park this. I've got to park it in that bloody pond. So, I'm just on my way to this other drop in Stockport. 
and then the indicator decided to stop working. Only on one side though, only on the trailer, so anyway, I've unscrewed the, uh, the panel. The bulb has fallen out somehow. Anyway, put it back in. The bulb's still working, which I'm glad because it's an orange coloured bulb with a clear lens on the trailer. And I don't have any orange spare bulbs with me. So, yeah, I'm glad the bulb just fell out and wasn't broke. Anyway, it's working now. I thought, should I just carry on and stop? Well, it stops in lay by, so I should just carry on a bit further and just stop at the yard and get someone else to do it. No, I'll just do it myself. Because knowing my luck, I'll get stopped by DBSA for a bulb out and then they'll find something else. Oh. Yeah. As you can tell, I'm having a really good Monday. Oh well, I've been Uh Let's see over. So this next one I'm going to, it's in my, it's where I live, the area I live in. And um, this it's, it's a mill, going to this mill. And then to get to this mill is quite narrow and small little roads. Um, According to this trailer, it's 4.8 meters. Hmm. I don't think it's 4.8 meters, but that's what he's saying on there. So that's what I've had to put in the sat nav and got the height indicator. Um, so <laughs> today gets better. Another accident on the M56. Uh, I've been stuck for about 40 minutes so far, bumper to bumper. I don't think I'm going to get to this place before it closes, but I've just tried calling the office, hands free obviously, and uh, no answer. All day I've had no answer from the office. Every single time I've called, no answer.
Maybe which is closed. I've walked around, can't get anyone. Looks like they're still open though, they're still working, but I don't think they're taking deliveries at this time. It is 5 pm. Turn left, Oakwood Road. So now I've got to uh, take this back to the yard. Warrington, not sure what I've got tomorrow. Or I'm bringing this back here tomorrow, I don't know. Turn right. A bit slippy there. Trailer on the wall, the headboard is about a few inches off. Very close. Good morning, happy Tuesday. First thing is, it's well, I got up at 3 30 this morning. Well, I started work at 3 30 this morning, uh, collected this trailer from the yard and now I'm on the way down to Devon. We've got three drops around the southeast. Uh, final being in Devon. First one to be somewhere near Bristol. And I'm not sure what I've got after that to be honest because I mean it's gonna be four hours well what is it three hours I've been on the road for what uh, half an hour and it's going to take another three hours and ten minutes to get there so I'll probably have enough to do all drops and then maybe head off somewhere but probably not get to where I'm going today because I'll probably run out of driving time we'll see what happens later but uh, yeah yesterday was awful for me I was in such a stinking foul mood I might still save the clips, I might, I might, yeah, Fixed camera. it's mostly me moaning though, <laughs> so I thought, oh, should I delete it, should I put it on there, should I show it how the job really is, how it makes you feel sometimes, I might just do that, I might just include it, in which case it'll be now, and if not, then uh, enjoy the M6. <laughs> It's great at this time in the morning though because it's mostly just trucks. Uh, that's all on the road is trucks. You don't really get any middle lane hoggers. It's great. Nobody cutting you up. Yeah, this, uh, this, uh, I mean I don't really do nights. And this is classed as night now because it's uh, started before 4 a.m. Um, but I can see the appeal of drivers who want to drive at night. No traffic, no idiots. Well, you probably still get idiots, but you know. But the only downside is it's night. So we're here on the M4. It is 7.30, uh, should get there around about 8 o'clock. Now I thought it was an 8 a.m. delivery, but I just spoke to the office and they're saying no, it's 9 o'clock. So, uh, I, I need to have rushed. <laughs> All right, so I've made it here. I'm, I'm here early. It is nine o'clock because nobody nobody's here yet. I don't think they have anyway. Oh look, shut up, shut us down. Yeah, it is. So the next one after this is a place called Midsummer Norton or Morton or something like that. Midsummer Norton. Which area is that? Is that the area? Is that what it's called? It looks like a little village. 
then after that we are going to uh, Huntshaw Torrington in Devon. Not sure where that is. I know it's in Devon. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have a quick look at that now actually. Let's do it on the phone, it's easier. Turns out I'm at the wrong place. They have two factories. <laughs> Well, it's just around the corner. In here, somewhere. Ah, oh, there it is, yeah, big, big massive sign. At the end of the road, turn left, Knocker's Way. Exactly, loads of room. Can I spin it round in that? Hmm. I need to spin it round to reverse round there. I don't know if I can get round that. Turn left, Dumper's way. Just about. We're done now, we can get out of here. Look at that, you just don't... That's part of the left, that's just ridiculous. Well, I'm inches away from it, and the one on the right as well. Absolutely, it's a stupid parking car there. through that. People don't realise just leaving your car like that has caused so many problems for other people. Thanks for being patient. Another one there. That's can on the corner. Away. Okay, so I just went to go, go through Bath, but I forgot it had an 18 ton new weight limit on a bridge that can. Oh, there's no weight limit really. There's nothing wrong with the bridge. I just don't want trucks going through Bristol anymore. So that's added an hour and 20 minutes on my journey. So I'm now going the. Uh, Fixed camera. The, it's not really a diversion in place, it just says follow, follow such a road and then that's it, you're on your own. So any foreigners coming through, any foreign drivers, you know, they're going to have to uh, work it out. I mean, I've just spoke to the uh, the road legends on the WhatsApp chat. I said, right, what's the deal here, guys? And they're like, do this, do this, and do this. I was like, right, great. <laughs> so yeah, it's, uh, I did a bit extra time on, but. Uh, Two bin trucks. This magical mystery tour that we're doing now. <laughs> I come this way when I go to Shapton Mallet uh, Truck Fest, uh, which the Road Legends will be going to. Um, I won't actually be going. Uh, I've got other stuff planned and. Uh, I have managed to get you a discount code still though, so I'll uh, I'll put that in the video.
description below. So if you want a, a discount code to Truck Fest at Peterborough, which is the uh, the biggest one they do, like the flagship one, um, I'll put a link. I'll link to the uh, Truck Fest website and uh, the code below as well. Looks familiar this industrial estate. Not sure if I've been here before or not though. Turn right, then you have reached your destination. Right. Where is it? I have been down here before. Sure, it's on the left where that car's coming out. After 80 yards, you have reached your destination. It is. I, I thought I'd been here before. Right, best way to do this now. You have reached your destination. Uh... Third Avenue. So I can't get in because that wagon's parked there. Right, I have to drive around, turn around and then kind of nose in. Use this place here as a turning point. Because this car's parked over there where they shouldn't, because that's supposed to be a turning point, but it's not, because the car's are parked there. and just get it and keep it straight. So I can just reverse straight out now hopefully. Oh, a, I keep going past uh, chip shops and I'm absolutely starving. I've got no snacks in. I've run out of drink and there's just nowhere for me to stop this truck. I just, without causing havoc and blocking everywhere of course, there's no way to stop the truck. So I'll just remain starving. It's alright, I've got a few extra pounds, it'll be alright. Well I finally stopped for something to eat and it was actually a truck stop. It was only a fairly small truck parking. Um, didn't look amazing from the outside to be honest, there's a couple of like water cabins and that and it didn't look that inviting. Went in there, interior is a little bit dated but the food was absolutely amazing. It was really really nice. Um, I forgot Aww. what it's called now. <laughs> oh, what, what, what road are we on? I'm on the A39. Oh, what's it called? I really can't remember now. <laughs> Oh, it's a shame that because uh, I recommend it. It's on Snap anyway. Well, now we're in the countryside. War. Get up that hill, go on, get up. Put down Tuesday. Yeah, we all spin, just ignore it, keep going. Quite 
a big hill, I don't think we've got any more to come. We may have though, I don't know. So we're about 15 minutes away now. You probably can't hear me because the window's open. Yeah. 
crazy Monday. I know it shows that I'm a little nervous. I just realized. I now know where to go. I walked it in case I, I thought it probably would be right, but I thought I'd better check. I'm all on a break by the look of it. That was epic getting that off. <sighs> right, I did go the right way. that tag axle up A bit of sandblasting going off in there. It's a ring work now, I'll find out where I'm going next. Might as well stop here for a minute. Right, I've got some of those load details. Well, I've not got them yet, but it's in... I don't want to pronounce it wrong, so I'm just not going to bother. Ponty something or other. I didn't know there's an island there in the middle of the... Uh... Oh, Lundy Island. There's a boat goes there, apparently. What's on that? Probably not much. I'm in the sea. Right, so somewhere in Wales, so I'm just gonna uh just gonna stick in the uh Prince of Wales bridge and just head that way until uh Well I've got what have we got? 30 minutes of 35 minutes of driving. Hmm, not gonna get very far today, but <laughs> Just to the Prince of Wales Bridge is two hours and 30 minutes. How many axles there? Three, eight axles. Well, it was strapped down with two five ton straps.
Was that one there when I come in? I can't remember. Right, apparently the way I came in was the correct way because I, I asked them, I said, is you know the way or is that the right way? He went, no, that's the right way. Because I, I just thought, please don't be one of those people who follow the sat -navs. I mean, not that I've got any other way to find it. <coughs> I did have a quick Google actually, but it looked it looked right. I just didn't want to be one of those people that uh, get stuck. I certainly wouldn't have put it on grass anyway, but it got, you know, you'd have to turn around or something. I wouldn't have turned around in a stupid place. I'd have just reversed. Yes, it would have been a long time, a very long time, but I would have reversed. wheels are brushing against the bank on the on the trailer so them wheels are going to be full of mud now the wheels on the cab are brushing on the bank on the right I've got round it I wish I had a cab team mirror cam turn left then bear right They don't put this on your old truck simulator, do they? Guys, uh, I think the sun's going to be blocking you there. Right, close the window. That's me parked up. I'm in some scruffy little lay-by. Back doors are open. Fuel caps locked. Uh, not sure. I was going to edit the video tonight, but pretty tired to be honest. I was up at 3:30, and it's now five o'clock. So what I'm probably going to do is just upload the image, the footage to the laptop and then I'll do a new video tomorrow. Take these stinking boots off. 
they stinking? They've only had them on for about half an hour. I tend to uh, drive in with trainers. And then sometimes I forget and uh, get told off by places. No trainers, no trainers. <sighs> right, that's, uh, that's me done. Thanks for watching. I'd appreciate it if you give the thumbs up or the thumbs down a smash. Um, that's about it, really. See you later.